So, oh, it's uh, Carlos here with Rick from Four Barn Farm. Four, Four Barns Barn Farm. Four Barns Farm. Yes. Um, and we will put a post up soon. I'm going to get on the other side of the camera so we could listen to Rick. He's going to give a little tour and talk a little bit about the farm, um, some of the recent history, because this is all very recent. Rick is a new farmer, fairly new. Yeah, very new. Uh, basically, this is the first full year uh, cycle. Mm -hmm. So, this is uh, a lot of screwing up and yeah you know, we're gonna fix it next year kind of stuff yeah so we'll see if that works and obviously that's long term How, how's it going this year do you think so far like do you think the really groups are you know, okay. new, newbies yeah yeah <laughs> uh the chickens are doing their thing the eggs are really fantastic um, we've got uh, garlic that i'm harvesting right now very late okay. but harvesting nonetheless okay uh, we've got some figs that are just a few weeks from being ready. Oh, very cool. Uh, apples actually are edible now. They shouldn't be, but yeah. picked a couple uh, last night, as a matter of fact. Did you have those figs before you came here? Like that, they, uh, okay. Them. They went in uh, a few months ago. Wow. Yep. So, oh, and they're they're in the ground. They're in the high tunnel. Okay. Like yeah, out. sure. Yeah. And what would you say are, are right now, are eggs your main? Um... By far. Okay. Nice and easy because they do all the work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let the animals do the work. I don't. I don't know if you're familiar. Um, I'm sure you've done some some of your reading too. Um, Sepp Holzer has this great quote um, that he says it's mostly geared towards people who don't want to use animals on their farm. But he says uh, if you don't want pigs, then you must do the pigs' work. So here you are letting the animals do the work. So that's good. <laughs> that's, they're, making the, they're making the food anyway. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. We've got two cherry trees that uh, I don't think they like the Mediterranean weather. Okay. <laughs> so they're not so happy. It's going to be uh, a little toasty in here. I'll get you some water after this. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, I could absorb moisture through my skin and be, uh, get it that way. Yeah. So, yeah. A bunch of these guys are, you know, they're babies, but mm -hmm. they, um, they're healthy plants, very healthy plants, and uh, they're just, I would say, just a week or two away from, uh, eh, a few weeks, we'll say a few weeks. <laughs> and they're not too young to put on fruits, like it's it's okay at this stage. Oh, well, I see they already have them, but you you don't you weren't encouraged to pinch them off and let them like no, the do their. No, they're going to change color. They'll get a little more brownish. Okay. Actually, a thing that I read that said that um, if the weight of the fruit is kind of like pulling it off, yeah, stem, then it's good to go. Then you're good to go. Okay, I know with two. two. <laughs> okay, good. Were they, were they tasty? Yeah, they yeah, were really good. yeah. Smaller. I mean, uh, yeah. Jessica bought some at the store that were like they were huge. They looked like pears. Yeah, baby pears. Um, but uh, yeah, they're very tasty, and that's really what is important to us, you know. I mean, yeah. It doesn't taste good. Is it good? good? It doesn't taste good. Okay. Um, so I just leapt into this video. I'm going to stop it now, yeah. but maybe we could talk uh, just a little bit about like your long-term vision in a minute or something. I'll, I'll uh, 